What up? What's up? What's cracking, man? You just stunned in the Ferrari like that? Yeah, why not? I use it like a <laughs> prostitute. I'm just supposed to get. I, I'm, I'm learning from you, man. I'm trying to make my videos go viral like all of yours. <laughs> like, What's happening, dude? How you been? Good, man. Just got back from the gym, and I'm gonna head out to uh, Malibu. So I have to pack. I'm gonna do some cardio really quick. I wanna look as as lean as possible and uh, look good for all, all the peeps that are gonna be there. But dude, I'm, I'm I'm excited. Like my team is pumped too. Like we're ready. We we coming up early, and uh, we're we're ready to have. I'm ready to meet the people because I've already seen some people in my DMs and stuff, and they all seem really dope. So I always enjoy that. Like when I go somewhere and like I'm teaching, I yeah. try and say, "How can I learn more?" Right? Because there's gonna be a lot of smart people there. So even for me, like I like to go in student mode, and, and I'm just excited to meet people and also turn the fuck up. I mean, let's yeah. give it 100. Like <laughs> I, I told my driver, I was like, "Hey, it might be a late night. It might be one of those nights. So I'm just giving you a prep. Make sure you take a nap." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, ready to go. Well, I got 19:42 for you. Uh, you like wine? <laughs> I, do. I mean, I'm pretty basic, dude. I was I was social chair of my fraternity, so yeah. we just drink whatever the fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I I ain't fancy, so I'm all good with whatever. Yeah, and no, I I come from the hood, so I'm like same thing. Yeah. Whatever fucks you up faster. <laughs> <laughs> and it was cheaper, you know what I'm saying? Like you just when we used to shop, you just go in and you just look at the prices. You go to the bottom of the shelf, not top shelf, and you yeah. take it. You mix it. You mix it with some Kool Aid, and that was what you drank. Some yeah. people called it wine. We called it vodka and Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Billy. So let, let's talk a little bit about about haters. Like, uh, are haters important? Do, do you have any haters? Because because before people used to make fun of me when I had um like five people watching me on the live. Yeah. And, and or when I was when I got my first Ferrari, people were like, "Oh, that's his. That Ferrari is leased. Uh, whatever." And now yeah. now that I get more people, a lot more. Now I still get haters. So should I feel bad when they call me like names and make fun of me and or because I remember they made fun of me when I was really broke. Yeah. So now now that I actually am pretty wealthy, they still make fun of me. But now it's a, a few more. So like, how do you feel about haters? Are, are haters important for marketing? I mean, anybody who follow my shit, you know how I feel about haters. I think they're fun. Um, and also, too, it's like the indicator that like you're actually getting known and you stand for something. Right. Yeah. It's the people who don't have haters. They don't ever stand for anything. They're always right in the in between the safe lane where nobody, you know, they never have opinions on anything. They're kind of like in between. Yes, I like this a little bit like that. Like and those people never grow. They never create movements. They never yeah. have the masses follow them. So, you know, I think it's a sign of like that's the progression. So everybody listening, if you have haters, that means you're going somewhere. You're taking a stance against something. And then the other side of that, like personally, some people say just ignore the haters. Nah, I love to troll the haters. Like, I love to have fun with it. You know what I mean? Like, make some jokes. Like, have some fun. Like, don't take it too seriously. Um, and then the other side of that is when you get somebody put some really dark shit, those yeah. ones you usually just feel bad for, right? Yeah. Like, something is really going down in the life. So those, it's kind of like, yo, I hope everything works out. Because you realize they're usually not mad at you. Like, yeah. even if I get people, like, sliding my DMs, like, sometimes I reply back. I'm like, yo, I hope everything's good. Here's a link to all my courses for free. And they're like, oh, shit, I'm so sorry. I just, you know what I mean? So you never know what anybody's going through. But, like, honestly, like, you have a great life. I have a great life. Like, we feel lucky and blessed. There's no energy or time allotted to, to the nonsense. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about this weekend. Are you going to get there tonight or tomorrow morning? We're coming up early tomorrow. Early yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Early, yeah okay. early tomorrow we come up and uh, taking a sprinter up. And so oh. we'll be in full effect. Awesome. I was saying because because tonight, uh, Brad Lee's gonna get there, Bobby Castro and um, and Rob Luna. So we're gonna hang out for a little bit, but we'll do it tomorrow. We'll we'll have some fun yeah. tomorrow. Uh, I'm really excited. About I was gonna say, don't yeah. don't use all the fun tonight and then hit me with some boring shit tomorrow. I don't want to hear none of those excuses. I got I'm on daddy duty. You know, I'm gonna spend some time with my daughter tonight, and then in the morning I'm gonna come up. No, I'll probably have like one glass of wine, and that's it because I I want to be fresh tomorrow morning. Yeah. And, and um, but I'm really excited about the the cocaine or crack thing that you uh, <laughs> like like how to sell like crack or like what 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 it, give give me a little preview of that i can't i can't just know <laughs> that like tomorrow what i'm gonna be talking about is how to sell nothing and how to sell crack and if you can do these two things it's amazing how the skill sets i'm gonna teach transfer to your business and like i guarantee success if you follow this formula <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You, you you know you know the the viral videos I learned a lot of the, the the way you make videos viral. Like it's it's almost like porn. You don't want to leave them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that I think porn is a little better. But I, I think I focus on a video like I kind of watch from like an every three second lens. 
So if I ever write anything or I'm filming something, I'll literally ask myself every three to five seconds, are they still watching? Are they still watching? Are they still watching? And then I ask another question, why? Why are they still watching? So for example, a big part of that is suspense and curiosity. Some of us watch our favorite TV shows because we need to know what happens. Who wins The Voice? Who wins American Idol? Who wins on Survivor? What happens next in Breaking Bad? Do they get away from the cops? Do they survive, et cetera? So same thing with your sales messages and, and your advertisements. Like, are they wondering anything? Yeah. Or are they just watching? People don't just watch. They need a point. So suspense and curiosity is something that we lead with in all of our advertisements. Like, I want people hanging on the edge of the seats. Like, what's happening right now? Where are we going, et cetera? So. Yeah, I heard you keep everybody on their, on their toes, like, for an hour. Like, your whole presentation, everybody's like, they don't want to turn around because you, you get their, <laughs> you capture their, their attention is be, besides... Like what's maybe one one or two things that you do to uh, besides making them laugh? Like what what are maybe a, one or two things that you keep them so engaged? So movement, I think, is something subtle. So I'll give you an example. Like you and I, we're still right now, but yeah. even what you did in the very beginning was awesome. As you started in the car, yeah. you I got up you. <laughs> it's great, but like it, so the move the move the movement is is huge because people wonder, oh, where is he going? And now they're looking in the background, right? Oh, what's where's he at? Da, da, da. Oh, look at his house, like oh shit, sick pool, da, da. you know, like people wondering all these things. So me versus like I'm I'm boring and stationary right now, you know, no one's wondering. Yeah. But if I get up and I start walking, that's when you see it and uh, uh, retention stick and things like that. So like kind of kind of walking around and talking, right? exactly even now right like even now I'm like yo and then you can add something to it and you can just say let me show you something and then yeah. start walking because now I'm like what the fuck is he gonna show me like you want to show me something like that that hook and kind of build off of that principle right there and let me show you guys something or like I can do that for real like watch like hold on let me see I'll show you guys something for real hold up at the house here my girl's upstairs and shit hold up but like, I want to show you guys a killer view. What, so notice your... I'm moving. I'll put my hand in and I'll point. I'll bring objects yeah, yeah. in, things like that. Come outside, and then, yeah. So this is this is nice. <laughs> so you got to make sure the payoff there too, right? If you say, "Hey, I'm going to show you guys something," you know, is it cool? Is the payoff worth it? Or are you just wasting your time? Because you know that's a quick way to to piss Where, people off. Where's so, your basketball court? You have a basketball court and a tennis court, right? Yeah, it's up upstairs. So upstairs. Yeah, up there on the yeah. top, top. Yeah, yeah. That's where there's a full on like pickleball court. They call it, but it it looks like a tennis court. Yeah. So that's that would be an example of right capturing attention, etc. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, people are wondering. So it's subtleties like that, right? Yeah. So when people see my ads, my goal is when they watch it, they just think it's like this winged conversation. But the truth yeah. is, every word is thought about. My movement, what I say, what I show, it's all scripted, everything. So, yeah. you know, let's kind of again. So let, let's say somebody that just is posting, uh, keeping people like curious and, and keeping people entertained and, and all that. Like when, when do you pitch? Cause, cause you know, like you, you have things you sell. So yeah. you don't, you don't want to do just attention, 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 and then not pitch, right? Like when, when do you pitch? Yeah. That's a good question. So it's af after the aha moment, mm -hmm. right? Like whatever, when you give them that, that light bulb, et cetera. So for example, I have this advertisement where I take out my cell phone and I say, hey, I want to show you my bank account. So now you're curious, right? Oh, he's going to show me yeah. the bank account. That's cool. And then I go through the transactions and I swipe up. And you're seeing all of the debits, right? Or uh, all the withdrawals, like uh, cable, you know, Netflix, Hulu, you know, what, all those things. And then I say, you guys want to hear a fun fact? On average, everyone has 166 withdrawals. You know how many deposits they have? Two. So let me ask you a question, Albert. How the fuck can you get ahead in life when you have 166 times you're spending money and only two when you're making money? Sounds like you need to play some more offense. Yeah. See, the, that's the light bulb. So, okay, that's the main switch. Now I say, click the button, I'll show you how to play offense or, or lead it to my thing. But that's, that's really the whole entire game. It's just like before you start a message and advertisement, like what is that aha moment? What is that light bulb moment that's going to get somebody to change the way that they're thinking? Yeah. And I see you post a lot about family too. I, I see pictures with your, with your family. Your, and yeah. like, is, is that also important? Should you mix that in social media? Yeah. You know, I'm actually like, 
I'm pretty paranoid about my family and like my personal life. Like I show a lot of things, but definitely at times, like my daughter's in videos and stuff and she's more extremely tight and you know, my girl, things like that. But I think the most important part is just showing like your life and what's important to you. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, this, this is a part of my life. So it's like, you know, whatever your truth is, show that like nobody wants to, people don't realize, you know, what sells imperfection. Mm. This is an important note. People think perfection sells. Perfection is for yourself. Perfection is selfish. But like, imagine watching a TV show or a movie where the, the character is perfect. Hi, my name is John. My family is great. I make a lot of money. I have success. There are no obstacles. Everything is good. Yeah. Like, you're like, I don't want to watch that boring ass shit. Like, show me the obstacles. Show me the journey when you fall down in the scrapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you see shows like The Biggest Loser, you don't want to just see the beginning and you want to see the journey, the messing mm -hmm. up, the failures, the data, like the offer, like all those things are so critical. And so that's the one thing I tell everybody is like, right now, a lot of you guys are waiting till you get to the destination to start creating content. Not understanding the best part of the story is the journey right now. How powerful it'll be in five years to show everybody your truth. Hey, I, I'm not as successful as I'd like to be yet, mm -hmm. but here's what I'm really good at and how I can help you. And then you document that you show that video five years later, and now people build the ultimate trust because they saw you when your chips yeah. were down. I feel like that's where I got, you know, a good leg up. It's like people can see my journey over the last, like, eight years. Like, I literally have videos eight years ago that you can see what I'm talking about, the amount of money we're making. So as I progressed, like, my audience kind of grew with me. And so, yeah. you know, some people come just now, but if they go and stock me, they can be like, damn, this motherfucker's legit. Like, I... There's, there's 10 years of proof. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you deny that? Ah, 10 yeah. years of videos. Like, what are you going to say? You know, so. Do you, do you think that's important for, for to leave your old content so people could see, like, how you came up and, and all the struggles and then that connects more with people? A hundred percent. A lot of people think you should delete your old shit. You see yeah. a lot of people, they want to rebrand, they delete, et cetera. And every now and then there's an exception in a case for that. But, like, I love the people to see the scars. Matter of fact, like, think about, y'all, everybody I want right now, think about somebody you've met in your life that showed up and they presented themselves as perfect. The first thing that any human being thinks is, I don't trust that person. Yeah. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, Albert, you see that dude we met? Yeah, man, like, he was just, everything was perfect in his life and shit. Motherfucker, he didn't say anything. But, like, people were like, I'd be like, I don't know, man. Something's off about him. Like, when you and I, like, talk, we're down in San Diego and we just hanging and vibing. Dude, we're talking about imperfections, our fuck ups, like the stupid shit we do. Like the conversation isn't about like the sex. Like I know you're successful, you know I'm successful. Like we don't talk about that. We're talking like, man, this is what's going on. So that to me is what sells ultimately, and what makes you feel more comfortable to do it. Yeah, you you know what's interesting that that um like we're not like your typical uh white white man that's uh, that's successful and rich. We're <laughs> we're and and then we're we're also young. We're pretty young, yeah. and then and then we dress pretty casual. Like we don't dress up, or we wear uh, some shorts and uh, t-shirts. I, I got my hoodie on right now. You yeah, know, you, you you think you think that's you think that's what people like, or feel um, more comfortable? I think, I think some people do, right? I think it's the people yeah. who relate to being you know casual or whatever it is. You know, I I feel like it's inviting. You know, mm. people think of suits, and suits are awesome, too, because they can be a, a power position and, and posturing. But also, too, suits can be intimidating. I'll give you an idea. If someone knocks on the door right now, and they're wearing a suit, yeah. what's the first thoughts? Oh, shit. Police are here? Oh, no. The IRS? Like, oh, god damn. What did I do? Yo, my <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on? What are they trying to sell me? Like, yeah. there's a lot of bad things. Someone rolls up casual. You know, they got some shorts on and a t-shirt. They knock the door. You're like, oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, it's the neighbor. Da -da -da. So, you know, you control the narrative. I, I think the thing that I want everybody to, to really focus on here is, like, when you're creating social media posts and, and videos and content and things of this nature, you control it. If you want to wear a suit, you want to wear basketball shorts, you want to wear whatever, you control the narrative, you control the story, you control what people see you like. So you can't really win. You just got to be intentional about what your point is. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, like, I got these. Like, I don't know what you think of these. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm starting, okay. I'm, I'm starting to, like, kind of... Yeezys? Wear some some Yeezys, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say the Yeezys, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like them? You know what? I I used to wear Ferragamo all the time, like just Ferragamo shoes, and, and yeah. And then I never got any compliments, and then I started wearing uh, Yeezys, um, like 
a week and a half ago, and I get compliments. Like, oh, I, I, get, I get compliments every day, like five times <laughs> every day. And, I, and 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 then my my audience is mostly millennials, so I'm attracting them more. So now they're like, oh, yeah. oh this guy, he he has all these, uh, he has the cars, the watches, but now he's wearing Yeezys, and he and, damn. And so I, I don't know yeah. if it's, it, what, what's about. I don't know what's up with that. Well, like, look, it's it's it's, dude, it's. This is actually important to know for everybody listening. This is a big one. It took me forever to learn. Meet the customer where they're at. I'm say that again. Yeah, that's, that's key, yeah. Meet the customer where they're at. So you take like Albert and myself, like, okay, we have the nice things, we have fun, et cetera. But like, if we get together, we're probably not going to talk about any of those things for more than 3% of the conversation. 97% yeah. is going to be about deeper level stuff, life, when, like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be talking about deep shit that means something. So why would we lead with all this stuff? Because that's where the customer's at on yeah. their journey. They ain't got the, the, all the things yet. I know because you were there and I was there too. And when we were there, this is what we wanted. I wanted your fucking house. I wanted the pool. I wanted the, you know what I'm saying? I want the notoriety. I want the stages and all those things. That's what the fucking customer wanted. So that's our job is to deliver. So it's just like anybody who has children, we got children, you know, it's, they call it hiding the vegetables. Yeah. Hiding the vegetables. So it's like, yeah, here's sweetheart. You know, here's this yummy like casserole, but low key, you didn't know that there were peas in there. You didn't know that the carrots and the broccoli was all mixed up, yeah, et cetera, yeah. so you got some vegetables. That's what, I, that's what the Yeezys are. It's yeah. the candy, et cetera. Then you get to jump into the mindset, which is the vegetables, right? That's not sexy, but that's yeah. what's needed to yeah. transform. So that's what it really is, y'all. Y'all need to mix up your motherfucking shit with some veggies. That's right, <laughs> and people that's will right. Listen. So a few, a few more yeah. things, Billy, because I don't want to give away all, all, all the surprises you have in store for tomorrow. Um, like, let's say somebody that doesn't have a lot of followers. So, for example, we have some followers, so we're going to get some people to follow us. We have the cars, right? Let's say, yeah. let's say most people that don't have the Lambos and the Ferraris and, and they don't have the followers, they're not verified. What, what would you tell them to do to, uh, to, get, to start, like, maybe get in, in the race to get to the level of other people, other influencers that are up there? What would be the first step? It's, a, it's actually really, really, really important for everybody. It's to take a stand for something that is typically unpopular. I'll give you a great example, okay? Take uh, anybody who follows, take Candace Owens. Candace Owens is a black Republican woman. And she is extremely vocal about it. And she be saying some shit. Yeah. And as a result, she alienated a lot of black people, but she attracted a lot of conservative white people that have been looking for a black person to say those things. And guess what? Her following went through the fucking roof. She took a stand for, I don't believe in a lot of shit that she says, but she took a stand for what she believes in. And it was unpopular and she took haters and criticism as a result, but she also took a massive following and grew a movement and took a stand for what she believes in. Yeah. See, people got to realize you can't have that type of impact playing in the middle. If she came out and said, yeah, I like Trump, but I also like Biden because da, 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 nobody would listen. She had to take a radical stance for something unpopular. And that's yeah. the game for everybody. It's like, what do you stand for? And people really are concerned because they go, well, if I say this, well, I lose people. And the answer is yes, but nowhere near to the amount of people that you yeah. gain. Like, if y'all look at my Instagram, like, I fucking, I do some reckless shit. Like, I troll, et cetera. I'm, I'm very much for, like, you either fuck with Billy or you don't. But the thing is, like, I have real family and community. There's yeah. a difference yeah. in fucking followers and family. People who fuck with me, they know I write for them. And, like, if I in some shit, I'm not, I send out a fucking email to a million people, and motherfucker, we can turn some shit upside down. Like, we're connected. But at the same time, there's other people who are like, God damn, I can't stand the Billy dude. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I'm I'm good, I promise. Like, yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, well, I, I definitely uh, fuck with you, so you're, you're, you're I fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Billy, so um, tomorrow you're going to get there and uh, you're going to be there all night. We're going to have some some drinks tomorrow night, uh, party, celebrate, have a good time. Yeah. Uh, Everybody, that's Everybody watching be there. Like, if you, I don't, I don't know. I think if it's sold out or not, if you guys can find a way to be there, be there. Like, I promise you, like, I'm gonna bring some fire. But I think also to it, like an event like this, yeah. you know, 
people sleep on the ability to connect yeah. also just to fucking get inspired you know we all been inside our houses trapped stuck in our own thoughts that's a dangerous place to be because they're the same this yeah. is always the same unless you put new information in it new experiences in it then you can start thinking differently so when you walk into a room like this and you see what other people are doing it's impossible not to be fired up because yeah. remember when you're in that room you're in the room with a bunch of fucking winners that are yeah. driven that are on their shit versus at home your closest people let's be honest and nothing not a knock against them but they're probably not that motivated yeah. they're probably complacent and chilling what they do and if you hang out with four chickens, it's only a matter of time before you're the fifth. Yeah. Right? So right. this is what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of your own shit. My, my buddy Jesse Issa said, nothing, nothing good happens at home. Like, you don't grow at home. Like, you, you, when you just sit at the crib, like, you'll be fine. You're not going to have no radical shifts. You're not going to have a change. You're not going to have a massive moment. This isn't yeah. going to happen. Yeah. So that's, man, you know what? I'm, I'm already pumped, more pumped up than I was. Uh, tomorrow, we're, we're going to start in the morning. You're going to be there all day. There's going to be like 500 entrepreneurs, business people that paid a lot of money to be there. So th we're going to have like billions and billions of net worth in, in, the, in the place, in the location. And we're completely sold out, by the way, completely sold out. And we invested a lot in the, in, in the place. It's going to be like boot camp Chella. You know, you know Coachella? <laughs> yeah. It, it's going to be boot camp Chella. So have you ever, you read the book Blue Ocean Strategy, right? I, I haven't read it, but I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the circus used to be like plain and then they created Circus Soleil. They made it like a <laughs> show, like uh, naked women, uh, exotic animals, uh, bars, yeah. music. So PC that's Barnum. Yeah. That's what we did with uh, Driven. So the Driven event and the Driven boot camp. It's business and information, but you also you also have relationships and fun. You know, it's like a lot of fun. We have bars in every corner, music, and, and then we're, we have a show of business. See, this is, hold on. You guys are hearing this. This is fucked up because I'm coming. And I'm coming to bring my A game. Something tells me Albert's going to have me fucked up before I start speaking. So <laughs> if, I, if I'm slurring my words through my presentation, you blame that man right there. We will, man. We, we're we're going to – it's going to be like a like – a, the time of your life. I'm telling people it's going to be like, it's going to remind you of your greatest moment you've ever had in your life. Cause it's going to be like that Ooh. this whole weekend. Uh, think about your greatest moment. It's going to be like that. So um, really excited. Yeah, I'm honored to contribute to that. And I appreciate you having me. And, yeah. and we, we bring in the fire fire. Thank you, brother. So I'll see you tomorrow. I don't want to give too much information about everything you're going to say. Uh, we were completely sold out, but if somebody's watching this and you're really serious about attending, maybe, maybe I'll do two tickets. Just and somebody that's following Billy Hit yeah, you gotta you gotta, we'll you gotta hook it up, Albert, because that's fucked up. You out here teasing them and getting them excited, like, "Hey guys, everyone, you should go to the best event ever." Oh wait, we ain't got no motherfucking tickets. <laughs> like, Bro, you gotta give a couple. Slide yeah. them a couple. Come on, baby. We're we're so over capacity now that that uh, I'm gonna give them my seat. I'll give them my seat and seal seat, there you and go. then they can they can sit with yeah. with, with Billy. <laughs> well, All right, well, brother. Well, appreciate you. I'll see, I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna yep. continue getting ready. Sounds see good. See you tomorrow, homie. Later, brother, bro. Much love, man. Bye. Bye-bye.